Hi, I'm Dr. Reddy. Today we're going to talk about how to diagnose fatty liver. The question you should ask is, do I have a healthy liver? Or is my liver fatty? Or has my liver started showing signs of scarring? So there are three scenarios. One, a normal liver. Two, a fatty liver. Three, a scarred or fibrotic liver. So fatty liver versus fibrotic liver. Do I have a fatty liver? Do I have a fibrotic liver? You might be wondering, what is this cardiologist doing with fatty liver and why is he talking about fatty liver? What I've realized after 18 years of practice is that if I start looking at all the medical diseases in a different perspective, I realized most of these diseases emanate or stem from something called fatty liver. So one day I was sitting with a friend of mine who is a gastroenterologist and we started talking about fatty liver. I asked a simple question, if I have fatty liver, what signs and symptoms would I have? He said, you will not have any signs or symptoms. I said, if I continue to proceed with having more fat deposited in my liver and as my liver gets more fatty, what would happen? He said, you might have inflammation in the liver and then as the inflammation gets worse, you might start damaging the cells and the cells are being replaced with scar tissue. Imagine the liver cell as a small box. In the center is the nucleus. As you introduce fat into the cell, what happens? The cell starts to swell up and the nucleus is pushed to the corner. You continue to push more fat into it. The cell is now really swollen. You continue to push, continue to push fat into it. The cell wall bursts. And then guess what happens? The liver enzymes inside the cell are spilled into the blood. So when you go to your doctor's office and get your liver enzymes checked, and if the liver enzymes are elevated, what does it tell you? That the liver cells have burst and the liver enzymes are spilling into the blood. Now, if your liver enzymes are elevated, it's a sign that the liver cells are dying. If the liver cells are dying, what's the next thing that happens? They shrivel up, shrink, and are now replaced with scar tissue. Imagine, with every cell dying and being replaced with scar tissue, what are you doing? You're destroying the liver and shrinking the liver. So then I asked the next question. If there is scarring of the liver, what symptoms would I have? He said, none. He said, if I have 50% scarring in the liver, would I have any symptoms? He said, no symptoms. How about 90%? Even when you have 90% scarring in the liver, you have absolutely no symptoms. Then the next question was, what about 95%? At 95%, most people still have only two symptoms. One is mild memory loss, not knowing where he or she placed her car keys or his car keys. Two, mild fatigue. Then I said, hey, everyone in America has mild memory loss and fatigue because we are all so stressed, we are all exhausted, we are all working hard. And all of us, if we really ask a simple question, hey, am I losing my memory? Do I remember where I placed my car keys? At times, do I forget? The answer is always yes. Am I having symptoms of mild fatigue? We all have symptoms of mild fatigue because we don't sleep enough. But he said, those are the only two symptoms you'll have even when you have 90 to 95% scarring of your liver. So the next question I asked was, if I have fatty liver, if I have scarring, how do I find out? If you see that your liver enzymes are elevated, that tells you that there is significant inflammation and damage to the liver. But the next question is, can I have 90 to 95% scarring of the liver and still have normal liver function tests? The answer is yes. What they found was when they took 100 patients with stage four, 90 to 95% scarring of the liver, only 20% of them had elevated liver enzymes. 80% of them still had normal liver enzymes. So when you go to your doctor's office and get your blood work checked and he says your liver is normal, liver enzymes are normal, that doesn't mean that you don't have fibrotic liver or fatty liver. Two, if your platelets are slightly low, that's a sign that you are worse off and you have more than stage four fatty liver. That means close to 93 to 95% of the liver is already damaged. If you find that the albumin level is less than 3.5, that's again a sign that 95% of the liver is already damaged. If you find that your ferritin levels are going up and they're high, that's a sign that you have inflammation in the liver and you also have a fatty or fibrotic liver. These are the only few signs you'll see in a fatty liver or a fibrotic liver. In the past, we used to order a simple plain ultrasound of the liver. The ultrasound will tell you if the liver is fatty or not, that's it. It doesn't tell you how much of the liver is fatty and if there's any scarring. Then as I said, if I do an ultrasound, can I find out if there is any scarring on the liver? 
He said even if you have a lot of scarring, the ultrasound will only report it as fatty liver. It will not say if there's any scarring or not. I said, what about the other tools like CAT scan and MRI? Those tools can be used, but with CAT scan, you're looking at a lot of radiation and you cannot quantitate and tell how much of the liver is fatty. Same thing with MRI, but MRI is expensive and is still investigational, not, improved, not approved for fatty liver or scarred liver. The other test he said, which is the gold standard, is a liver biopsy. Now, how many of us are willing to get a liver biopsy done? Now, if you do a liver biopsy, are you 100% certain that you'll catch the disease? At times, you may uh, biopsy a part of the liver where it does not show any signs of fatty liver or scarring, and you might miss it. So biopsy is not 100% certain. There are times you can have biopsy done, it could still come back normal. There's one tool called FibroScan. In 2003, it was approved in Europe. Since then, for the last 12 years, they have been using it to evaluate liver and find out if the liver is scarred or not. Only in the recent few months, it has been approved in the United States. And right now, there are less than 20 centers in the country who have this FibroScan. Now, what is this FibroScan? It's a simple ultrasound, but it has a tool which will help you evaluate the liver and tell you what percent of the liver is fatty, two, if your liver is scarred or not, three, if the liver is scarred, what percentage of the liver is scarred? For example, if you are stage one, it's 20 to 30 or 40 percent scarring of the liver. If you are stage two, 50 percent of the liver is scarred. If you are stage four, it's more than 90 percent of the liver is scarred. So wouldn't you want to find out, A, if you have fatty liver or not, two, if you have scarring in the liver or not, and three, how much of the liver is fatty, and what percentage of the liver is scarred. There are patients who come to my office and say, I drink a glass of wine, I love wine, I have to drink wine, I'm not going to give up wine. So I asked a simple question. Do you know how much scarring that alcohol is causing to your liver? If you do a fibro scan and find out that 20 or 30% of the liver is already scarred, would you still continue to drink a glass of wine or two glass of wine every night? Every one of the patients, without any doubt or hesitation, clearly told me, no. Then I asked a few patients with diabetes. I said, you're taking all these medications for diabetes, for cholesterol. Every medication, almost 80% of medications are metabolized in the liver. They put a lot of stress on the liver. If you're a diabetic, you have fatty liver. If you are obese, you have fatty liver. If you have fatty liver and have inflammation, you're causing scarring. Well, let's say you do a fibro scan and find out 60 or 70 percent of the liver is scarred and you have never consumed alcohol. What does it tell you? You are heading towards liver failure even though you have no symptoms. Are you willing to change your lifestyle and diet? It is amazing. I, sp I have spent 18 years talking to patients, convincing them about trying to change their lifestyle. But the one tool I found that really helped is when I asked them if they are willing to find out if their liver is fatty or not, if they are willing to find out if the liver is scarred or not, most of them said yes. And when they realized that if they find the liver is scarred, they are willing to aggressively work at changing their lifestyle and diet. So my next question to you is this. If you have stage four scarring or 90% scarring of liver, what does it mean? One, it means that you don't have symptoms except for mild memory loss and fatigue. Two, it means that even though you have never consumed alcohol, you have the same amount of damage you've had as of someone who has been consuming half a liter or half a bottle of vodka or scotch every day for the last 20 years. Three, if you have 95% scarring in the liver, then you're one step away from going into liver failure. If you want to learn more, uh, go on readycardiology.com. We have a program called Eat This, Lose That, that basically teaches you what to eat and what to buy and what to get from a grocery store. Your philosophy should be how to use your grocery store instead of your pharmacy. Treat food like medication and help reverse obesity, diabetes and all the medical problems by working on finding out what is the status of your liver and reverse fatty liver. Thank you.